here and in this video I am finally getting into Tokyo Mew Mew New episode 1. Yes I know I'm late to the party, the season finale is already approaching but I'm still excited to get into this series. Really quickly, I'm going to say that I am attempting a new style on the channel for these videos for a goal of having them be shorter, fun, and spontaneous. Rather than including the full episode reaction, I'm aiming for a recap style, so really only showing my reaction to my favorite parts of the episode or parts that I wanted to narrow in on. So yeah, hopefully the new style is enjoyable, and without further ado, onward to the episode. Okay, so if you know me, you already know I have to take a pause at this scene right here in the beginning. Originally, the amount of species was 2,500, and now they've updated it to 15,000. Um, I really wanted to take a pause on this because obviously that is really sad. Um, not only that, but also, it's a big theme in this anime, and it's actually one of the reasons why Tokyo Mew Mew New is one of my favorite animes. I like that this is one of their main reoccurring themes throughout the show. I think it's a really important message and lesson. I wanted to bring light to it, because hopefully when you are watching as well, this isn't a message that you overlook lightly. And just remember to care about our planet and the other species that we live on it with. And yeah, that's what I wanted to say on this little clip here. I immediately have chills. Iconic Ishigo right off the bat. I'm so I, I'm so excited. I really like her energy. It's fun. It's lighthearted. It's super relatable when you were a teenage girl. Oyama! So one thing that I think is really interesting is that Ishigo is just learning about Oyama for the first time. Interested to see what else they change and make tweaks to in the storyline. The intro is a bop, of course. So if you didn't know, a dub is coming for the anime. There's no official release date yet for the dub, but I'm just saying I wouldn't be mad if they reused the 4Kids theme song. <laughs> I'm so excited to see the transformations. Also, that's something that I remember reading that they changed is that um, Mint now goes to Ishigo School. It's so interesting that Mint kind of sticks around and she's following Ishigo. Uh, it's a completely- she wasn't even initially in the first episode, I don't believe, or, you know, like this much. So I immediately am already thinking that she has something to do with- she's in on this transformation, but that- that's, uh, that's so new, like, that she's in on the DNA uh, Mew project, which is really crazy. A king, concerned about the environment, yes. <laughs> And he likes animals? Sign me up! <laughs> oh, we're having an interaction with these two already. Okay, Mint giving Ishigo the extinction exhibit uh, tickets? Like, no, it has to be a Mew project, right? There's no other reason. Unless she's a hardcore Ishigo Oyama fan, then there's something so suspicious going on here. How do you know his name? You weren't doing any research, were you? His eyes! He's like a puppy! Oh, we're seeing all the animals! There we go! All five animals. All five of the endangered species. Yeah, obviously for rewatchers, this is something that's um, kind of apparent in the theme, but I really think it's cool how they kind of snuck in all the endangered species uh, in each of the clips. It's just fun. It's just, it's a cool, it's a cool foreshadow uh, for people who have not seen it also. Here we go again. You see the message? It's important. It's important. Don't overlook this message in the show. Oh my gosh, please. We all live here, I guess, unless you're an alien species somehow watching this YouTube video of all things to watch. But yeah. <laughs> really like this shot of her looking into the eyes. Okay, this scene here I respect. I think it is so cool because we just got this kind of dark side of Oyama where he's saying that it's humans' fault that the Earth, these species are becoming extinct and that we are causing all these issues. And his aura is very kind of dark and kind of like hopeless and he's just um, not happy with the idea, obviously, of what humanity has done to the Earth. And Ishigo comes in and she says, but there has to be something that we can do to fix it. And Ishigo 
Ichigo comes in and says, well, that can't be all there is to it. Um, she has this like look of determination and light about her. And she's saying that she won't just sit by and let nothing happen. And he's kind of like sparked. You can see it in his eyes, like a glimmer of like hope. He sees that in her. And I think that is so cute and also really interesting. Like, I like how they're like already tackling this dynamic between the two already. Um, maybe I'm over reading it a little bit, but that's just how I feel about the scene. And I really, really, really enjoy it. I think it's cool. Man, she's sneaking. Oh my gosh, she is on Mew Project. What a twist. That was not part of the original anime, if I remember correctly. Here we go. All five girls, they're here! Oof. <gasps> ah! Kids are ready? What? Oh my gosh, what an interesting change! Okay, 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 so if I remember correctly, this did not happen in the original anime. Also, uh, in the original anime, I believe Kishu steals Ichigo's first kiss, so... This, what a cute twist! Oh my gosh, I mean, like, it's still a stolen kiss, but this one's, like, accidental, right? Oh my gosh, I was not ready for that, I was not expecting. Wow! Oh my gosh, I'm a fan, I'm a fan, I'm a fan, so cute! Cute. Oh my gosh, uh, I wasn't I wasn't ready. I got I got caught so off guard by this. Wow <laughs> My mom to Shirogane Wow This is so crazy. I am so excited for all of this. Wow How interesting. I believe her cat is called the Iriomote cats. I might be pronouncing that wrong. Wow Oh my god it's happening! Girl, what kind of throw was that? You have superpowers now! Run! Ah! It's you, Agata! Oh my gosh, to the rescue! Wow! I'm so excited. My heart is pounding right now. Wow, look at him! Okay, I'm paying attention. What was he gonna do if it hadn't activated? How was he gonna save her? Oh my gosh, here we go! Gosh, the animation is gorgeous! I already saw this on Twitter, but it hits a little differently watching it in the episode. Wow, it's gorgeous! I'm not gonna lie, I do miss the pink hair. Wow, I don't know why, but the wrist thing was always like a favorite part of my transformation, when she does the little pedal with her hands. Sheesh, that's gorgeous! <laughs> she runs away. <laughs> Same girl. Oh, what? Whoa, no way. Oh, so interesting. I really like this change. It kind of makes having Mint uh, already be in on the Mew project and leading uh, Ishigo here. I'm not sure if she influenced the other girls to be here as well. But um, I really like this because it changes the pace of everything for some reason. The fact that she has uh, Mint now at her side kind of showing her the ropes, it, it makes sense. I believe in the original first episode, animation it should go kind of her fighting instincts came in this one she's a lot more clumsy and flailing around she's not really sure how to use her powers or what she's even supposed to be doing and now you have men who's like you you gotta fight girl like look at me i'm i'm just like you i don't know if what i'm saying makes sense but it makes sense in my brain and overall i feel like it really changes the pace of mew getting her powers to knowing how to fight uh, and also being introduced to the whole Mew project in general. And I really like it. I really like this change. I like it as much as I like... I like it as much as I like Oyama being her first kiss now. Uh, even though it was accidental, obviously. But cute! Cute, cute, cute. Wow. So exciting. <laughs> this is a great time to be arguing about the first kiss. <laughs> Not both of them running away now. <laughs> Not them arguing! Another interesting point that I wanted to include in is that I like that they still are keeping Mint and Ishigo's dynamic. Like, these two argue a lot, mostly because Mint was originally, like, kind of, like, you know, like, stuck up initially when you first meet her. So, uh, the fact that they're keeping, like, this relationship between the two, they're still bickering, even when they're running away, is really funny to me. It's fun! It's fun! I'm really enjoying this, if you can't already tell, uh, by my reactions. <laughs> Shirogane is like, oh my gosh, you picked the wrong two to start with, guy. 
Yes! Let's go, Let's go! Wow! Look at those cat-like instincts. Go, girl! I like that they still kind of, like, kicked in, but it was, like, she's still a little clumsy. It's a good transition. The soundtrack right now, I'm really feeling it. I think it's nice. It's motivational for me. I don't know why. Hopefully they release it. It would be great. I would listen to it for sure. Yes! Let's go! Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous! It's so gorgeous! Ah! Not the chip grab! I wasn't ready! No! Such a gentleman. This is how you should treat a hero lady. She's in love. Wait, homegirl really just got in the back of a car with these strangers. That's a good point, but still. Oh my gosh! She's got logic! Okay, let's go! <laughs> it's still shady. I wouldn't go in. It's still a little shady. I don't think I would fall go in right away. Overall, solid episode, solid start to the season. I am super excited for this series. I really like how they did episode one. I like the changes that they've made so far, other than the pink hair, obviously, but I don't hate the red hair either. It's just me, if I were being a little nitpicky, and it's just me sticking to my nostalgic tendencies or ideas, I suppose you could say. So overall, we see Ishigo kind of falling for Oyama in the first parts of these episodes. We see how she learns about him and how she's starting to get to know him and what his interests are. And we're learning a little bit about Oyama, of course, that he's volunteering. He's one of the nice guys at school. He's got a kendo and that he is interested in the health of the earth and the species that live on it. And that they make the topic makes him sad and concerned because we all live here. <laughs> and he cares. Like I said, I think probably my favorite part of this episode, outside of the animation of course, seeing the contrast between Oyama and Ishigo and how she was very very determined um, about the state of the earth, even though she's just learning about it for the first time, uh, her immediate reaction is that there has to be something that we can do to change the course that the earth is on and the species that live on it and that we all live on this earth together and that it's not hopeless versus Oyama is obviously feeling feeling very sad and hopeless about the idea and of course her determination inspired him which is really cool and I'm just curious to see how that's going to play out more throughout the season but I really really like uh, the contrast between the two it makes them complement each other really well the kiss scene I was not expecting uh, one of the big changes that we saw in this episode from the previous series is that Ishigo's first kiss is Oyama I think regardless of like who you ship most I, I think this was a, a good change uh, for the series. It's still an accidental kiss, but uh, it's with the boy that she really, really likes. And I think it's so cute! I keep fangirling over the same scene! Also in this episode, we got to see Ishigo's transformation for the first time, which was super beautiful! I'm excited to see the other remaining girls' transformations. I'll do a separate video uh, once we get to all of them, kind of ranking my favorite to least favorite, even though I know they'll all be amazing. Um, but definitely Ishigo is in the running, of course, um, just because because the nostalgic, uh, the, like I said, the wrist twirly thingies, I don't know why, but those are like my favorite. <laughs> I don't know, it's just such like a cute animation. Also, as I said before, this is probably my second favorite change that they've done in the episode so far, as opposed to the original animation, and that was having Mint already be part of the Mew project and helping to guide all the girls there, and or at least Ishigo, and her kind of being there to guide Ishigo in this fight scene and kind of getting her like butt in gear because she's just on the ground confused and she's running around and she's stumbling. It gives the transition from Ishigo just being a regular schoolgirl to like gaining these powers and facing her, this first chimera animal. Uh, it makes it much more smoother and a little bit more realistic, uh, as realistic as you can make these kind of scenarios be, and I just enjoyed it. I thought it was a smart change. I, I think it's really smart on the pacing. Even with like the fight sequence, uh, Ishigo is a little clumsy. Even though she's starting to realize she has these superpowers and she's taking over to make sure that Mint isn't hurt, uh, she's still clumsy, like, she's not exactly perfect, and I like that they're throwing those little tidbits in there when she's tripping and falling and almost getting hit and dodging just in the nick of time because she's relying on her cat instincts, but, um, again, makes the pacing, like, a, just a little bit 
more realistic and fun to watch. Overall, an amazing first episode. Like I said, I liked the changes. I liked the consistencies that they kept as well. I'm super excited for the rest of the series. Be sure to leave a comment on what your favorite part of episode one was and perhaps how you feel about this new style of reaction, recap, slash commentary, whatever you want to call this. So yeah, for now, I think that's all for this episode. As usual, be kind, spread kindness to others, and peace.